everybody. Welcome to Menu Monday. New recipes every Monday. Stuck in that cooking rut? I've been there. Come join me and try some new things. I have fun in the kitchen and I hope you enjoy the video. So let's get cooking. So it's been, it is a week later now and we have made all the meals. I thoroughly enjoyed the ease of going into the freezer every day and getting something out for the following day and then pulling out something from the refrigerator and putting it in the crock pot and I was done with dinner. I have to say I definitely want to do freezer meals again. I'm going to try to put together some recipes that can be done in the instant pot because these were all crock pot so I want to put together a menu Monday for freezer meals for the instant pot so I'm going to be working on that. Now as far as the meals that we've done, there was only one that Big Daddy and I did not care for. I, uh, not like is, is too strong because we would eat it, but it's not something we want to make again. And that was the cilantro lime chicken. It, first of all, didn't defrost in the fridge like the other meals. Uh, so I had to put it on high instead of low. The flavor was very good, but we do not like liquidy ingredients in our fajitas, so I had to drain off the liquid. Um, so just because of those things, just not going to make that one again. But um, I would say try it because everybody's different and likes different textures, different flavors. Um, it wasn't horrible. So other than that one, the rest of them were fantastic. They tasted good. Big Daddy doesn't, isn't a big fan of soup, but he even enjoyed the taco soup, taco bean soup, I think it was called. And um, French dip was fantastic. Um, I enjoyed all of them other than the, the one. So I suggest trying them and see what you like. And that was seven meals. I'm going to continue to try others. Um, but like I said, I'm going to do the Instant Pot ones next. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you the serving of these meals and the pictures of what they looked like. Some of the prep for serving I did a little more on. It depended on my the time I had in the evenings. So, I'm going to go ahead and insert those now. Freezer meal, I'm going to be cooking the French dip sandwiches. So, I'm going to go ahead and shred my meat and I'm going to toast the rolls. Today it was time for the beef stew. I rolled out of bed in my pajamas. Big Daddy had coffee ready, so I had a sip of that. Put in my liner bag into the slow cooker. Got the beef stew out of the refrigerator that I had put in there the morning before. Dumped it into the pot. I gave it a quick stir just to level it all out. You can do this on low for 7 to 10 hours or high for 5 to 6. I did low for 10 hours because we were gone all day. 
Now I dried out the pan so I could get my meal in here for the following day, which is the cilantro lime chicken. So I'm going to get that out of the freezer. The most difficult thing with this week was figuring out what I was getting out each day. Not a bad problem. Love these freezer meals. Alright, so I put the next day's freezer meals in the fridge so that it's in there for 24 hours. There was dinner. It was fantastic. And I had stew left over to refreeze and just heat up whenever we want it. Alright, now I'm getting the cilantro lime chicken into the slow cooker and that's our meal for today. Now this one didn't defrost very well so I just got it in there the best I could. And this you can cook on low for 8 hours and or high for 4. I believe I started out on low and then I ended up turning it up to high since it was still pretty solid. And now I'm just getting out the next day's meal and putting that in the fridge. Alright, once this was done I did take the chicken out and shred it. I don't believe that was in the directions. Let me check. No, that was just what I wanted to do with mine, so you can do it either way. This had tons of cilantro and it was very flavorful. However, there was a lot of liquid left in here, so I did drain that off. Just mixing everything together here before I do the straining. And now draining off that liquid. And now to serve, we just put the mixture on our tortilla, roll it up, and then fry it just brown the um, outside of the tortilla. And then I just topped it with sour cream and salsa. And I would have used guacamole on mine if I'd have had it, but unfortunately I did not. Uh, these do have a great flavor. It was not... It was our least favorite of the week's worth of meals, but if you like this sort of uh, mixture in your tortillas, you're going to love this because it is full of flavor. So do give it a try. Alright, today we're taking out the black bean taco soup and we're going to get that into the crock pot. I did this on low also. And 
And then to go along with our soup, I did make some cornbread, just the Jiffy Box brand. I actually made two boxes, but Big Daddy had gone to the store to get me some more milk. So I just did one at a time. Just follow the directions on the box. I think it's called the, I can't remember, some sort of cake. It's at the bottom of the uh, box. The recipes are for muffins, but if you want to make a 9 by 9 just follow the directions. I believe it's changed the time to 25 minutes. And of course, I did this in the email Olagasi, which cooks much faster. So mine was ready in about 15 minutes. Alright, that was a done deal. Delicious. We really enjoyed that. Alright, today's dinner is going to be the honey sesame chicken. So we're going to get that in the crock pot. And this cooks either three to four hours on high or, I'm sorry, three to four hours on low or one and a half to two and a half hours on high. And I chose low. So I'm just spraying the bag. This has honey in it so it does stick. I just didn't want that. I'm going to put that in and get that set. On the side, I'm going to do some rice. Now we're going to put some butter and salt in here. Alright, now that's cooking, we're going to go back to the crock pot and remove the chicken. This has to be cut into um, bite-sized pieces. And the chicken looked and smelled delicious. Now we're going to thicken the juice, and that is with some cornstarch, four teaspoons. And then we're going to add six tablespoons of water and we're just going to shake that up to make that slurry and that will thicken the sauce in the crock pot. Put the lid back on and turn this on high for 10 minutes. Just setting my timer. Now I'm going to get the chicken cut up. And then once the timer goes off, we're going to put the bite-sized pieces back into the crock pot 
and serve that over the rice. Really enjoying getting up, putting it in the crock pot, moving on with the day. Today we're having the barbecue ribs, so we're going to get them in the crock pot. These cook on low for six to seven hours and they were fall off the bone delicious in that time. Now I did make on this side some rice and some green beans. Unfortunately I didn't have time to film them on this evening but I did get a picture of the plate. It was absolutely delicious. And now I'm just getting out the meal for the next day. Tomorrow, Swedish meatballs. And there's the rib plate. So tonight we're fixing the Swedish meatballs and 30 minutes before it is finished, we add in one cup of sour cream. On the side, I'm cooking some rice and I serve this with some buttered bread. It was a delicious meal enjoyed by Big Daddy, myself, and my father-in-law. I hope you try it. It was very good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's Menu Monday. It was a little different than my others, but I think it'll be very helpful for anyone that's got a busy week coming up or wants to try freezer meals. The prep time took about two and a half hours, and, uh, you know, the daily get it in the crock pot took about 30, let's say one minute. <laughs> it wasn't very hard. And some of them I did some side dishes, some I did not. So, you know, you pick and choose, but that's an option of seven. All right, I'll be back again with another Menu Monday. You guys have a great week. Love you guys. Bye.